A military family in Milwaukee is renewing their efforts to make Wisconsin's green alert system something the entire country can use to help locate at-risk veterans. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez has more on their petition to help save lives. Gwendolyn Adams and her daughter Carmen are determined to make sure no family goes through what they went through. It's time. We have a new president. We have a new administration. It is that time. In 2017, U.S. Air Force veteran Corey Adams skipped his appointment at the Milwaukee VA Medical Center. He had been suffering from PTSD since 2014. His family went to the police, but at the time, he did not meet the criteria for a critically missing adult. Any missing persons, you know those first uh, 24, 48 hours are very crucial. It took eight days for police to launch an investigation. The veteran's lifeless body was pulled from a local pond weeks later. Loved ones turned their pain into action with the help of state lawmakers. They launched the green alert to locate at-risk veterans. By their count, it's helped locate over 20 missing veterans in the state of Wisconsin. It takes a tragedy to put something in place. They say military families across the country reach out to them. They wish they had the alert. Um, there are, I believe, a total of five states right now that do have the green alert, but it needs to be, it needs to be a nationwide thing. Lawmakers at the federal level have expressed interest in making the green alert a nationwide system. The family believes the pandemic slowed down those efforts. To help generate support, they started an online petition and a letter writing campaign. They also have a meeting scheduled next week with Congresswoman Gwen Moore. Gwen's death will never be in vain. We're going to keep his legacy going. Gwendolyn and Carmen Adams hope that the green alert can become a nationwide system by the end of the year. We have a link to their petition at fox6now.com. Reporting in Milwaukee, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News.